who will go first, President Trump or our constitutional order? The question presses after the President's most recent affront to our system of governance, his unpardonable pardon of former Maricopa County, Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio, announced last night in a presidential tweet. This is hardly an ordinary exercise of the power to pardon, granted to the President under the terms of the Constitution. The Constitution gives the President the power to pardon to serve the interests of justice and mercy, to correct cases in which federal courts have acted with unwarranted severity. This is the principle that informs the practice. Donald Trump pardons Joe Arpaio, former sheriff. Convicted in racial profiling case read more in pardoning Arpaio, Trump has acted in contempt of this principle. Arpaio, the self-styled toughest sheriff in America, systematically abused his powers during his two decades in office before being voted out last November. Most notoriously, Arpaio commanded his police to detain people solely on the suspicion that they were illegal immigrants, even in cases where the suspects had violated no state law. This amounted to a blanket invitation to terrorize the domestic population through egregious practices of racial profiling. In 2011, a federal district court judge, a Republican appointee, ordered Arpaio to stop a practice that constituted a flagrant violation of constitutional rights. Rather than submit to the federal court order, Arpaio acted in open defiance, placing himself above the federal judiciary and the rule of law. Last month, he was properly convicted of criminal contempt for his defiance. He faced a maximum of six months in jail, but all that is now moot thanks to the president's pardon. Lacking the vision, tenacity, commitment and acumen to govern, Trump contents himself with acts of undoing it is not hard to understand why Trump would pardon Arpaio. The two share dreary similarities, a willingness to scapegoat undocumented immigrants for the ills of the nation, a cavalier disregard for the inconveniences of legal constraints, and affection for strongman braggadocio. But more than that, the pardon is an expression of Trump's governing style in distilled form.